God bless you. God bless you. God bless you wherever you are. There's a, I want to draw your attention to a scripture which uh, is in the Gospel of Mark. And Mark is one of my favorite books. Uh, scholars have uh, notated that uh, that book of Mark is the action book of Christ, the action book of Jesus. Because you'll see the word straightway so many times. Jesus is always on the move. Uh, for his father. He's always on the move doing things uh, as God has prompted him and put in the spirit to do. He's always laying hands on the sick. You'll see people being healed. You'll see miracles taking place. Why? That's the question. Why? Because Jesus had that relationship, that intimacy, that personal relationship with the Lord. We hear a lot of different things. We hear the prophets talk about uh, cars and houses and uh, money coming and all those different things. But we don't hear a lot of people talking anymore about uh, having that one on one relationship with God, experiencing his presence. We don't hear people talking about uh, having revival starts with you. Yes, I'm talking to you. Revival starts with you. And if you want the presence of God to be evident in your life, wherever you go, demons tremble. Wherever you go, I mean, you're ready to tear up the enemy's camp. You want to spend some time with the Father. I mean, every day. Over in Mark chapter 1, verse 35, uh, Jesus rose up early before the sun had break. And the Bible said he prayed. When was the last time you got up and spent some one on one time with God and just listen or prayed? When was the last time? Because listen, if you have an intimate relationship with God, some things you just don't want to do. Uh, you don't want to grieve the Holy Spirit. Uh, yes, you don't want to grieve the Holy Spirit uh, because you have that intimacy uh, with God. And the Holy Spirit is God and he lives inside of every believer. But I want to challenge you today. I want to challenge you to go deeper in your relationship with God. I want to challenge those that's watching this video right now to, to ask God to cleanse your heart, creating you a, a new heart and a right spirit. I want to challenge you to have that one on one relationship with God. And listen, uh, having that one on one relationship with God brings the presence of God in your life, especially when you consecrate your life. I mean, some of you, you haven't fasted, you haven't prayed in years. Yes. And it's time for you to fast. It's time for you to pray. Oh, my God. So the presence of God can consume you and you can do a great thing for the kingdom of God. Oh, you can do a great thing in your city, in your area, wherever you are. But having that one on one uh, relationship with God, intimate with God, there are some things you just don't want to say, some things you don't want to do and some places you don't want to go. I challenge you today to have that personal relationship with God, having that intimacy relationship with God and watch he change your life forever. God bless you on this wonderful day.